we are hoping he will uh, tell us on how he is guiding India's foreign policy in this volatile world that's there. Not just the challenges uh, we face against an aggressive China, but also the other big issues. The new world order emerging in the midst of uh, the worst pandemic that humanity has seen in recent times. Uh, the major power blocks and alignments uh, that are emerging. The Afghanistan crisis, which we briefly touched in the previous uh, discussion. Dealing with a hostile and emboldened Pakistan after uh, their coup in Afghanistan. Apart from other nations in our neighborhood and uh, the challenges posed by the other big issue uh, that the world faces and has to deal with climate change. Uh, so that's a whole lot of issues <laughs> uh, uh, that's there, Harshringa. And may, may I begin uh, by asking you, firstly, uh, to begin with, I mean, all these dramatic changes that we have witnessed in the world and in our uh, region, how would you describe these and define them? And how is India navigating through this very troubled world that is there, particularly on our foreign policy? Please go ahead, Mr. Well, thank you, Raj, for the introduction, for having me on the India Today conclave. It is a volatile world out there. We've, the world has seen the greatest shock to the international system since the Second World War. COVID-19 has claimed millions of lives and destroyed hundreds of millions of livelihoods. We are still in the midst of this, not knowing where exactly this will go. In addition, we've seen a, a sort of a geopolitical shift. The images of the fall of the Berlin Wall are fast fading. Unipolarity is giving way to a multipolarity of sorts. We've also seen an increasing level of economic output and dynamism in Asia, with India an integral part of that process. That is leading to a redistribution of the global GDP towards Asia politically, economically, in technological terms, capacities are shifting to Asia in a rebalance. And in some senses, this is uh, changing the power equation. And when you have, I think those of us who are students of international relations would know that when you have a situation in which the balance of forces shifts, it has its consequences. And those consequences also result in many cases in friction. And we have seen uh, instances of friction as a result. It, it, friction doesn't necessarily have to mean friction in military terms, but economic friction, trade wars, uh, greater uh, volatility in the global scenario. Now, where does Indian foreign policy fit yes. into all of this, and how do we deal with this? Uh, and have you realigned your foreign policy to meet with this? Well, foreign policy in general uh, represents continuity and change. Continuity are those elements that will, in some senses, represent your core values and interests, which don't change very much. Geography is destiny, so your neighbors remain the same. But you do need to have a foreign policy that is nimble and agile in dealing with the changes that the international order brings. And many of these changes are not those that you had any ability to either predict or to, uh, in some senses, influence. COVID-19, of course, is a case in sure. point. But you do need to be involved in minimizing the consequences on your own uh, domestic environment. Um, one very important and immediate case in point is the situation in Afghanistan. Yep. Now, the US decision to withdraw from Afghanistan was not something that we had a hand in. After 20 years uh, of uh, investing blood and treasure in that country, the US decided for its own reasons to pull out of Afghanistan. But the consequences are those that we've had to obviously face. We are an immediate neighbor, and uh, we have very high stakes in the way uh, Afghanistan develops, the regional situation evolves around it, and its impact on everything that is important to us. And from that perspective, I think we, our diplomacy has been very, very engaged on that issue. Since, uh, I would say, 15th of August, when um, the Taliban took over Kabul, uh, we have been involved in a series of very high-level diplomatic engagements. Uh, the Prime Minister has spoken to a number of heads of state and government. Uh, you know that he recently met President Biden. He met President Suga, Prime Minister Suga and Scott Morrison. 
But he's also spoken to President Putin, who sent a high-level team down to India to engage us on the Afghanistan issue. He's had conversations with President Macron. He's also um, spoken to uh, many of the other leaders that are involved with the situation. Foreign Minister has met uh, the, the new president of Iran. He's met uh, the heads of state and government of most Central Asian states. Uh, I would say that we have been in contact with practically everyone who matters on this situation.